good morning students myself kk leka assistant professor in the department of biomedical engineering in erod singundar engineering college in today's class we are going to see about the microbiology and structure of bacteria we are going to see about the structure and components of bacteria and also functions of bacteria in this class function uh, components of bacteria like uh, cell wall cytoplasms ribosomes flagellos etc we are going to see about in this class before that we have to know about the microbiology microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms such as bacteria viruses archaea fungi and protozoas basically there are uh, many types of microbiology branches of uh, like bacteriology immunology mycology nematology and pycology etc in bacteria it is the study of bacteria bacteriology it is the study of bacteria in immunology the study of immuno immune systems in mycology means it is the study of fungi such as yeast molds etc in nematology the study of nematodes uh, like round worms that are comes under the nematology in phycology the study of algae depending upon the cell uh, life and uh, functions characteristics of cell uh, we are divided the cell into two types Uh, basically all living things that are single or multicellular cells are made of cells that that share some common characteristics like basic shapes internal contents dnas etc basic shapes like spherical cubical cylinders and also the internal contents are cytoplasm surrounded by a membrane like that and dna it has its chromosomes ribosomes metabolic capabilities depending upon these characteristics and also the lifetime it is divided into two types that are eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells in eukaryotic cells these are cells that possess the true nucleus with a membrane bond organelles eukaryotics are either be unicellular or multicellular but in prokaryotic it is characterized by the absence of nuclear and do not possess membrane bond cellular organelles prokaryotes are ex- exclusively unicellular which means the in prokaryotics it has no nucleus and uh, other membrane bond organelles but in eukaryotics it has a nu- uh, nucleus cells and also membrane bond organelles the examples of prokaryotic cells are um, bacteria and archaea in eukaryotics the examples are protist fungi plants and animals everything except except prokaryotic cells are comes under eukaryotic cells okay let's go uh, get into the bacteria bacteria are the microscopic single cellular and unicellular or unicellular prokaryotic organisms that exist in their millions in every environment both inside and outside other organs not visible with the naked eye they are divided by binary fissions some bacteria are harmful but some are useful for useful purposes they support many forms of life both plant and animals and they are used in industrial and medical processes there are four types of four common types of bacteria sir coccus bacillus sprilia vibrio and there are the common types of bacteria in coccus there are spherical bacteria spherical structured bacteria the bacillus are the rod shaped bacteria in sprilia it is this uh, spiral shaped bacteria in vibrio the common shaped comma shaped bacteria it is a comma shaped bacteria okay 
the figure shows the structure of bacteria in structure of bacteria it contains inside and outside the cells in inside the cells it has a nucleoid uh, dna cloyed nucleoid ribosomes and cytoplasms and uh, plasma membranes and also cytoplasmic inclusions and uh, and outside the cell wall it has a capsule cell wall cell wall in red color it shows in red color and uh, flagellum flagellums are long hair like structure and fili basal bodies etc okay it is divided into outside cell wall and inside cell wall okay outside cell wall it has capsule flagella fili sheath prostac stacks in inside cell wall it has a cell wall um, cytoplasmic membrane nucleoid mesosomes ribosomes cytoplasms and spores in capsule it is a 0.2 micrometer thickness viscous layer outer layer to the cell wall it is outer layer to the bacterial cell wall the uh, capsule is 98 percentage water and 2 percentage polysaccharide or glycoprotein or polypeptide or it has both there are two types of capsules that are macros capsules and micros capsules in my macroscopes it is a 0.2 micrometer thickness or more it is visible under the light microscope in micros capsule the thickness is less than 0.2 micrometer it is visible only under the electron microscope the functions of capsule is it helps in attachments as well as prevent the cell from desiccation and drying next is flagella it is 15 to 20 nanometer hair like helical structures emerges from cell wall flagella is not straight but is helical it is composed of flagellin protein like uh, known as globular protein flagello is three parts has three parts basal body hook and filament the functions of flagello is it helps motility of the bacteria there are uh, so many types of uh, bacteria depend on the flagello uh, the uh, it is shown in the figure first one is atrios atrios has bacteria without flagella example xylella is example for atricus in monotricus in the name it tells it was it has a single flagellum example is vibrio clollari in amphitricus it has single flagellum on both sides examples algalisins and facilis lophotricus it is a tough of factory flagella flagella at one or both sides examples sprillum and the last one is petricus petricus is numerous flagella all over the bacterial body if if we have the flagella numerous number of flagella in all over the bacterial wall is known as petricus okay next is piliar fimbriae piliar hollow filamentous and non helical structure they are numerous and shorter than flagella pili is the characteristic feature of gram negative bacteria pili is composed of filin protein the functions of fili is attachment in attachment fili helps the bacteria to attach the host cell surfaces and also possess antigenic pro properties and is prostaki prostaki are semi rigid extension of cell wall and cell membrane one bacteria may contains one or many prostaki the functions of prostacase are increase surface area of nutrition absorption and also it helps in other sense 
asexual reproductions and the next bacterial component is stack it is a non living ribbon like tubular structures it is formed by excretory product of bacteria the function of stack is it helps in attachment of solid surfaces and the next one is cell wall it is an important structure for bacteria because it uh, it products the entire uh, entire components in the uh, inside the cell wall okay it gives shape to the organism and also it gives shapes to the organism on the basis of cell wall composition bacteria are classified into two groups there are gram negative and gram positive bacteria in gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacteria the differentiation is shown in the slide the gram positive uh, bacterial cell wall the it is a composition of positive bacteria like pepti peptidoglycan glycan and lipid ticoic acid in gram negative cell wall the composition of back negative bacteria that is bacteriogligin outer membrane is lipid protein lipopolysaccharide the examples of gram pack, uh, positive bacteria is escherichia coli vibrio cholerae salmonella and pseudomonas the examples of gram negative bacteria is staphylococcus aureus mycobacterium tuberculosis streptococcus pneumonia okay next is cell membrane cell membrane is the inner thin layer cell membrane is inner thin layer that lies inside the cell wall and encloses the cytoplasm it is known as cytoplasmic membrane or plasma membrane it has a thickness of 18 nanometer and the cell membrane of bacteria is composed of phospholipids and proteins the functions of cell membrane is the selectively permeability permeable as it allows to pot pass selective substances next is nucleoid nucleus is the most important part of the cell it controls and directs all the cellular activities and stores hereditary information of the cell bacterial nucleus is known as nucleoid it lacks nuclear membranes nu nucleoplasms and nucleus bacterial dna is naked lacked histone protein the functions of nucleoid is it contains and stores hereditary information of the cell and it controls the cell activities next is ribosomes the bacterial ribosomes is of 70s types ribosomes are rounded granules found freely floating in the phytoplasms ribosomes are known as universal cell organelles because it is found in the both bacterial cell and eukaryotic cells the functions of ribosomes are it helps in the protein synthesis the next one is mesosomes mesosome is a spherical or round sac like structure found commonly in the gram positive bacteria the function of the mesosome is it is the site of site for respiration in the bacteria cell the next is cytoplasm it is the colorless viscous fluid present inside the cell membrane all the cell organelles and inclusions are found floating in cytoplasmic fluids 
it contains proteins lipids minerals nucleic acids glycogens waters etc the functions of cytoplasm is it helps distribute water oxygen as other substances through the cells next is spores or endospores spore is a metabolically dormant dormant structure produced during unfavorable condition by the process called sporulation sporulation occur due during late log phase or early stationary phase under favorable conditions spore germinate to give vegetables vegetative cell okay uh, next is we are going to see about the difference between the gram positive and gram negative bacteria in gram positive bacteria it is a simple cell wall but in gram negative bacteria it has a more complex cell wall in gram positive bacteria it is a thick peptido glycogen cell wall layer but in gram negative bacteria it is a thin peptido glycogen cell wall in gram positive bacteria it has no outer lipopolysaccharide cell wall layer but in gram negative bacteria it has a outer lipopolysaccharide wall layer in gram positive bacteria it retains the crystal violet or iodine but in gram negative bacteria it retains saffronine gram positive bacteria appear like blue or purple in color but in gram negative bacteria it is appear like pink or red in color the classification of bacteria according to its shapes is shown in the say, slide in the spheres uh, sphere like structure it has a diplococci or streptococci diplococci means the only two 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 like two round blasts etc and also it has a detrod sarcia and staphylococci in rod like structures in bacterial cell it has a chain of bacilli bacillus anthrosis and flagellar rods and spore formation form in spiral like structures it has vibro vibros and sprilla and spri spiro cactus in cocci these types of bacteria are unicellular and also spherical or elliptical in shape it has it has many types in a first one is monococcus there are also called micrococcus and represented by single discrete round shape examples is micrococcus flavus in diplococcus the cell of diplococcus divides once in particular plane and after division the cell remain attached to the each side each other example is diplococcus pneumonia in streptococcus here the cells divide repeatedly in one plan to form a form chain of cells examples of streptococcus is streptococcus bicogens and tetrococcus these consist of four round cells which divide in two planes at the right angles to one another example is gaffkia detrigena the next type of bacteria bacteria is sarcina sarcina is the in case in this case the cells divided in three planes but they form a cube like configuration consisting of 8 or 16 cells but they have a regular shape example is sarcina lutei in bacillus these are rod shaped cylindrical bacteria which either remain singly or in pair example bacillus cerus 
in vibrio the vibrio are the curved comma shaped bacteria and represented by a single genus examples of vibrio is vibrio cholerae in spirilla this type of bacteria are spiral or spring like with multiple curvature and terminal flagella examples of spirilla are spirillum coltans thank you thank you for watching my video